get the plant down. The snake bite spike not planted. fully covering it. And so we are going to see the spike planted. That's thanks to the wall being a little bit deeper oh, than normal. Now flash. Shadow all the way up in the spawn. Avoids that second flash. Gets a kill. And considering the position he was in and the utility that he's just burned up on a pistol round. That's a, a big positive. No flashes for Forza as they come in on the retake. And Shadow. Oh Ooh. no. That is an awkward fight. Putting the man advantage to Forza. They can now go in and get this spike defused. Of course the, the snake fight. Well behind the wall to stop that defuse. But it doesn't matter. It's going to be a little bit less uh, enjoyable playing Cypher, let's say. And it seems like they're going to use Dimasic to try and garner a little bit of control inside of the tube. And as he comes back, connects a quick headshot. Really, the objective here uh, is kind of get yourself those three kills on the board and triple fours his economy. Ooh. Why is Coffee still fighting? And why is it working? It's gone oh, for four! Okay. It connected everything in for each team. Do FPX decide to still push into this A site? We've seen at least two players here. The answer is yes. And they are going to steam forward into these weaker weapons. Nice deep flash, Back but oh, nothing really going their way on Forza's side. They're going to have to back out of this and play a retake as FPX get that spike on the floor. I like the snake bites, though. Huge delay potential coming in from Zeddy. But instead, Shadow's just going to go up top and get it planted there. Spike planted. It makes things a little bit more awkward for any after plants that they might have prepared. You can see Angel currently sat back watching for any flanks to be coming through. It becomes quite a bit more difficult with the current weaponry. So I guess who actually manages to find one. They don't realize they shout that close though. It's still becoming incredibly costly and a rifle now picked up for Zeddy. Actually gives him a real chance. The remaining couple of players are low. But they may not have the lineup for the plant. They do have one to stop him from similarly on this A-site defense. It gives him the opportunity to escape. But never mind, the trade's not quite quick enough. He is going to get tagged up and stunned. And while the swing out onto Angel makes it all too easy. The trades, however, coming back thick and fast. The running and gunning off the back of the Vandal. And the wide swing even coming out from Zeddy to give them a man advantage again. Desperate measures for Forza. Those seekers coming in prompted some more aggressive play that has definitely worked out this time around. FBX. Two versus three. That's, oh, no! Coffee! The blade storms you! They ended up getting uh, getting ninja on. We'd be, <laughs> we'd be yeah, berating him for not using it, I guess. Angel gets himself an opening, but dropped right afterwards. That's good mid-aggression by Forza in the early stages of the round. They're going back out, and Dimasic's ready. An easy kill for him, and traded back by Shadow. The weapon will be upgraded here as well. That he's going to have as they walk through main, probably not expected to be that aggressive in the early stages. He actually does end up backing off, allowing Shadow to watch the angle instead. And now he's sort of behind enemy lines. They suspect him to be around this area. Shadow back up above. The flash around the side doesn't even catch him. Shadow being crept on on the right side, he has no idea, backs off, but not in time. Coffee. I don't want to hope to break back, they've got the finances to do so, and Coffee misses the shot. You've got the disgusting operator on the other side that's going to manage to connect, and now Zeddy's in a bit of trouble. Yeah, he is stuck getting back. There's absolutely no angle where they won't see him and be able to pounce right afterwards. Goes up and even catches the shot. But zip and drop, he's staying aggressive. In the snake bite, though, what the fall to back yellow. Seekers going out, revealing these players. Oh, Some unity here for Hudgen. The gap down below, he spotted a player moving to the back side. Can't really spam it. Shadow even gets up to Zenny. Then the info was there, but the execution not quite. Hudgen struggling with the Guardian inside this Viper's pit, and it is time to leave as he's on one HP. But little did he know there was a player waiting for him on the other side. Yeah, probably hoping that they could have got something a, a little bit more done with the lockdown. Especially once the Viper's Pit was invested, but... Go for retakes elsewhere. Well, that early fight hasn't gone too well. Might be time to get Sage <laughs> rotating around. The only problem is rezzing up on top of that box is a pretty difficult task. And a good sh We're going to be able to give that over to him. Coffee's going to be bought back from the fray. Seems like they're going to attempt to try and play this in a retake. They do have to be pretty careful, though. And that's actually quite an early lockdown, considering where these remaining players are. I think they're trying to force them out to almost peek on the flank, where two players are going to be waiting. However, the trade's still coming back. And it turns into, well, now a 3v2 with the res coming through for Zippa. 
Now the defuse is already underway though, halfway gone. They need to peek in and stop him. Zeddy has just got it defused right under their nose. A little bit of early damage. Not been the best of times for him so far. The dual peek is good, but it's only going to be a trade. The wall off will only slow them down for the moment. In fact, it will barely slow them down at all. Angel's going to continue, but again, he loses the battle. That's why they push up. They try to get some extra control. Dimasic wins the duel in towards the spawn, dropping Artist, and the flank play from Shadow is so clean. This is terrifying if you're Forza, but that kill makes it a little bit more doable. The Viper, late coming in from middle, completely undetected, but so too is Shadow. As he makes his way in through Kitchen, the clock is the biggest enemy for Forza here. They have so much ground to cover and so little time to do it. And then through the window, Shadow gets the timing on the first and the swing to bring it 6-4 with a 3. I, I think this operator player has been a little bit rough so far in this map and already it's going to go a bit wrong on the other side as Angel has just walked in and found a double entry. Xiao not actually going to get anything, but it may not matter too much. Your 4 versus 3 and after plant and this time, well Mitch, they've got that utility. That they do. I'm surprised the pin hasn't gone up just yet. You know, Angel's, uh, he's taking his time. He's even just going for the pure post plan setup. You don't have to use all your ultis just because it's the last round. And they're going to assure victory through more conventional mission. I think this is a, the kind of thing where, as time goes on, oh. they'll fix some of these problems that we're seeing. But as it stands, FBX certainly the... Oh, my God. <laughs> Just, just dropped it. He just on looked him. into the eyes of his opponent, giving him a wink, and then shot him in the face. Like, I'm pretty sure he landed on him. much worse. And now, well, Artis is the only one alive. He's just stuck in the middle of every single player. They know exactly where he is. He's still going to find the kill, but they're already defusing, getting that spike to halfway and waiting for the peak. Shell will land the final shot. And that's a bit of a calamity again for Fours. Anywho. <laughs> Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. FPX looking to take that ring this time around. Hey, it'd be great if it was like the Super Bowl. You know, if they got a ring, that would have would have worked better. And this is going to be the defensive side retake of your dreams, evidently, because they are just tearing them apart. Fours have got weapons this time, and it looks worse than the damn eco. FPX overrunning them and leaving only Killjoy sitting in towards the tube, but it, there's no angle on the spike. It's just it's GG, just run away. Save the weapon, my dude. Oh! Well, that's not- Three or four players surviving for FPX, and I'm sat there with a confused look on my face. Even this, that's, the, that's the spike. Now, luckily, it's not going to matter too much, but... Oh, well, the fact that they've now lost another player oh, kind of does. That just uh, that just felt mean, Tom, from the way I read into that. It's like, luckily, it's not going to matter too much, because they're all dead. Um, So, you know, <laughs> spike being down is the least of their worries. Now, like we said some of these rounds have been hyper competitive, but at this point, or is it? Well, no, it's not. There you go. It's not. They get boomed. There you go. <laughs> you know, the first half, okay, they didn't get that many rounds, but it's certainly fan. Twelve to four. FBX are cold as ice. It could be not Tom. Not quite as good as about. Listen, listen. Oh, you gotta no. shoot for the stars. <laughs> Coffee's just gone. It's the bun, man. I'm oh, telling you, Jets, try. a little bun gives you away sometimes. And right there. One end of Coffee's Okay, second life. chance. Yeah, res in, but Shadow wants to hunt this down. Three players inside the tube. One in the kitchen. These guys are boxed in. FPX, they're punching their ticket. They know exactly where these players are. In fact, they've cleared pretty much everything else now. And there's four. Oh, wow. Four players in tube spotted. Now FPX can crunch in on this. And they're just oh, spraying they away. Oh, God, it's disgusting fish in a barrel and they are taken down or is it now having to fight back they've used the res they've lost coffee who got res the artist who was part of that res now here comes the ultimate on the site a desperate attempt to get what? a plan down and say he's on top why is he on top when he's used his ult Tom, what was that it won't be a factor in playing through that viper wall and as the recon should be revealing the plot oh in fact the drone 400 credits going to be committed to this as they push on forward and Angel gets dropped. The TP from Coffee. You said it wasn't going to amaze, but it's got the opening kill here. A chaotic duel that leaves FPX on the back foot. Fact is, though, the classic from this angle could actually be pretty deadly. 
We're not going to get anything on the first. The headshot onto the second. The flash through is going to leave one blind and leaves it into the one versus one. Incredibly low on HP. He's going to need the instant shot of that classic. But that's actually a blind onto himself. Saigetsu hasn't been able to find anything. And the flash is perfect from Shadow. A one versus two on only 21 HP. But he's run out of time. Oh, it's heartbreaking. No, <laughs> no, let's move no, on. Zeddy no. opens it up, takes down Shadow. Now, Forza have got the weaponry here. They've invested up into Spectres and Bulldog FPX, so they've brought a couple of weapons of their own to the table. They're looking to get it done with Sheriffs. And, well, as of yet, not finding any success. Good little sneaking by Shadow, though. Or by Shao, excuse me. He managed to completely get past that drone. And the kill goes their way with Zip and finding one. Another kill on the board, and hey, it's not looking too bad with... Hudgen and Artist being very low on HP as well. This round is definitely under threat. Decent flash, but even still, like, this alone is incredibly costly. And Xiao even doming another on his way back was, yeah, sure, the round is looking good for them to take, but they're not going to be left completely blind. I got a little bit lucky to be able to keep that angle and not be caught. And Xiao, he's not going to want to save here. He's going to try and make this as costly as possible. One enemy remaining. Oh, wow. Well, it definitely was costly. Four now, the attempt here might it's going to be to split onto both the players, but they've been a little bit caught here. The timing of... There's, in fact, a couple of them already in here. Teleport out. Info gathered. Now it's time to make a play off of it, but Zip and just... The Viper's Spike Pit planted. comes into effect, and it's not to defend the spike, interestingly. It's just to stop those players from coming in through back. I really like that they actually push in the other direction, though, because they give the clear to Shao to actually leave. And giving him the safety of knowledge that there's nobody on the other side. Artist trying to take a bit of a more aggressive stance. Lock down that other side while his teammate has the bathrooms control the peak before the flash, though, is perfect. He'll find two headshots to make this retake look null and void. Zipan with a lot to do, but Artist is. I've got your trade. It's not looking great. Dima is sick, actually going to go for a, a bit of a, a hero investment. I think they're expecting him to try and back away instead of the reface. And, oh, Shadow. Oh, it's gone so badly wrong. Luckily, they still have Zipan available to at least make things costly once again. There's no free rounds when you've got these youngsters on the board. And Xiao's going to try and make things incredibly costly. In fact, it's looking winnable. He gets his second now and leaves Coffee alone. A tough clutch and shot in the back. An unwinnable one. Uh, using them as they pull them back to have a smoke on an angle to quickly peek it. That's so smart. Nice Hunter's Fury in the nade. Will deal a little bit of damage, but Dimasic in trouble on the back side now under pressure as he goes into the smoke. They'll catch him so easily. FPX having a tough time holding on to that A site as now they lose Shadow. And it's left down to Xiao and Zipan to make this work. Divided out allows them to get that res in and Dimasic is back online. A showstopper in his hands, the boom bot seeking a victim and he's heard the shots. He knows this player's on the left. A blast pack and an ultimate to play with. Good reposition actually coming in from the Forza players as now we're going to see only a couple of seconds really to mount this retake. Dimasic clears the corner. No player there. Blast Pack caught Last throwing it down. Standing. Zip bands out of the game. Shao's alone. And this round looks to be Forza's. It was a tough one. A one within the site, they were very proactive to clear. Speaking of being proactive, though, FPX of just the stars isn't actually going to be caught. But I don't think they have any idea of where Shadow's currently sitting. He's going to spot the majority. Mm. But it's a bit of a whiff spray. He's only going to get himself one, a chance to basically clear out the whole squad. We're also going to see the Null popped as well, but I don't know how much of a play that's going to come through. And this is looking so much better. So I get to closes the usually controlling, but this time around giving up to ensure that Forza aren't finding that for free. And in fact, Forza are looking to push into the B site right into the stack that they would want to avoid. Coffee with the flash. He's oh, he spotted him, but Demisic still got the kill full blind. That was gorgeous. Okay, FBX oh. are showing up because Zipan's already got a double running out of ammo. So Getsu has to switch down to the pistol and he will be eliminated as well. Hunchin is the left. final remaining player. One last beacon of hope and he'll get it done. Seven for Forza with a big clutch. Hunchin maintaining the... But in isolation. 
revelation. That was very scary. <laughs> that's the that this really? player's up close. Shadow's in a lot of trouble. He's being pushed on, but that's where his teammates come in. Angel on an off angle, okay. able to cover that walkout. A couple of players low HP. The man advantage sits to FPX, and it remains that way. The zip bang comes in huge. Hudgen finally getting to get uh, to fire that shot at his target without a big ice wall blocking his view. There's a lot more to do if they want to walk out with this. He's going to have... And he's been spotted. Yeah, they are going to be swinging into him, though. Giving him the opportunity oh. to take these fights. Already oh. getting two, running out of time, but only has 10 HP. The problem is the position of the spike. Retrieving it should be nigh on impossible. The timing of the peak could be everything, though. Oh. He throws his gun away. Oh, no. These guys are a bunch, but... In officials, they're scary. We've always known that. Right now, they're showing it. FBX sweating as the push comes into the B site. Showstopper activated, but nothing found in the back of its shadow. Gets up in their face. Good flash. Good follow up. But there it is. Artist, Sagetsu, Coffee, everyone chimes in to keep this alive. Viper's pit activated. And that's going to make it really tough for Xiao to get any value out of this operator as well. Plan soon to come in almost guaranteed and the question is can they get a res out of this one now that they've dropped coffee with a wall bang i mean almost definitely it's going to be attempted with angel going going back alive i thought sagetsu was going to go out he times it differently and it hasn't worked out in an ideal manner falling back he needs all these duels and another clutch that narrowly has oh. just got the operator but he's stuck by the gravity well just about manages to get away and Zipan goes above the wall he won't get anything more for it though Quick shutdown. FPX rallying to Angel's aid. Coming in through heaven and spawn, but for now he is isolated on the side and he's being spotted. Even going to be pulled in the flash to try and deter them from pushing forward. They're already in the smoke around his right side and he'll be shut down. But a quick trade from Dimasic keeps it doable. FPX are not down and out just yet. And another from Dimasic to take Hutchin down. He even avoids death at the hands of Zeddy Spectre and returns a nade right to Sander. This is going to be tough. Wars of a crossfire. Dimasic gets the first and is dropped. And Zeddy follows up for a third. Oh, jump heard there. Oh, never mind. He's wrong. But in this case, I will say, Forza playing beautifully with Yoru. Playing beautifully. Full stop. But not this time around for Coffee. He's going to be shut down from that one. A big TP to the B site, which is now wide open. Should give FPX the plant. Maybe Zeddy can get there in time to stop them. Oh, okay. Nice shot. He's taking a dumb back in response. Still has a, a couple of stars available to him, so it might be worth just staying alive that little bit longer. Some very low players over on the Forza side, however, so Angel might just have a field day here, and they're going to try and reclaim Obo control, and Angel will do just that. Hugging on the last man standing. And 47 HP. Okay, a couple of them are low, but well, Angel's not going to... Uh, I don't think it baits anyone. I don't think the only way it works is if you then actually go through the TP, which is what he's going to do, and get himself mm -hmm. a kill. So there you go. And TP <laughs> the right plays. back out. That's beautiful. Really, really, and truly. Love to see that one going down. It's against you. That way he gets two, doesn't he? He's just going in for duels and winning them left, right, and center. Shadow, final remaining member, and a 1v3 to make happen. They're conscious that he could be coming behind. He hasn't managed to evade detection going in here. And as you see, <laughs> the Seekers have been activated over on B. This is solo B hole with four players on A. Now ready, stacked up for this push to come through, but they're getting nothing. Artist hunching down, showstopper right under coffee. This is not looking great. Oh, Zed, he's about to be swung on. Good night. That could be information, of course, when Sky's flash is pop. You know exactly where the player is, but I suppose there's other ways to find the Cosmic Divide actually thrown through. They're going to clear the angle, and well, he's going to be completely stunned up. It needs to be big from Zeddy, and he doesn't really get anything on the crossfire. Coffee's going to try and run through. The pop flash available. First kill goes his way. A little bit more need in, and he's going to get it as well. The trade's thick and fast in their favor. It's dangerous. Got it. That was very dangerous indeed, but he's got it done. Shock dart in, does damage. And they're quick. Not giving him any spells damage, but it doesn't follow up with any kills. FBX, they survive, what? they move forward, but the snake bite gets a double. Hudgen on the already damaged up Dimasic and Zipan gets himself an absolutely massive kill. Or double kill. Forza are in the lead. All they have to do now is group up and push this together. 
This is an opportunity to stay alive in BCT and to possibly win this map. It's in their hands, and they're rushing Angel down. They're not giving anything away for free. Artist, though, will be caught alone. Xiao has to clutch it out. A 1v5, essentially, an ace clutch if he gets this one done, and he won't. The judge, too quick, too fast. Yeah, Coffee's going to try to TP into heaven. But this fight on bathroom will define it all. Artist, oh, just about gets it done. Here comes the teleport back, presumably. seconds left. As they wall it off and they go for the plant. Now they know that this is full a commitment and what a shot! A shock dart through does massive damage. And that is a great punishment from Artist to make sure that they pay for it. With time and the blood. There is also a res available for Zipan. If he can somehow get this kill onto bathrooms, I'm almost certain that he'll go for the res. Currently sat there waiting. We're also going to see the Viper's Pit just to try and lock out. Some of these other positions stop the wraparound from being possible. Xiao has connected a shot, though. Zipan's just found another one. And with the pistol, somehow FPX have managed it. <laughs> then he's going to be here. Oh, no, I don't like it. It's that anxiety coming back again. Then he's going to get one with the judge. They're going to try and do... They've seen a lot of players here on B. Spike down. But that Zipan and the spike... They've just fallen on this, uh, not on the side, it's in hookah, so it's retrievable. I mean, a rotating certainly isn't out of the question at this point in Zeddy's position, playing close to the wall. In the smoke, he's been spotted, and the spray is doing a lot of damage. But for now, he'll survive, and even be able no. to challenge Angel! He's still alive in that corner, and it's Xiao alone! One versus five! They will and there is so much to unpack when it comes to this force of defense, but surprise. It's not good for Fujian on the other side. Instead, he's also going to be blinded up and forced back into the lamp. So no, he's here and he's actually going to get stunned up as well. That, that should be a free kill. A little bit shaky from Xiao, but he'll get it nonetheless. A five versus two. And knowing that they want to go back for the investment in the next round, this has got to be a save. You are not getting back into this site. Yeah, looks like Forza agree with you. They're already falling back. And I mean, Angel has kind of forgotten the the, the last round where they, they almost allowed Chow to save. <laughs> he can smell blood. He's like, oh, I need to pad those stats a little bit. Running him, trying to hunt them down. Watch Chow. Third kill of the round, an impactful one at that. They know he's here and he's so low on it. He should be dead. Like, the spam should be enough and they don't even need it. This pop flash is going to have to be ridiculous and it will catch no one checks. No one person checks the close right angle. Why is that FPX? They get away with it. The fact that artist, artist doesn't get three kills there. Uh, they are lucky as hell. Lucky as hell. There are a million scenarios in which that goes so much worse for FPX, and there is one where it works out like it did. They are so lucky. Now check it. Retakes and well, certainly doesn't do anything anything too great. It's to close this map before we head to overtime, and I think then the ball is firmly on FPX's side of the court. Most definitely, Zipan Chow able to take two quick kills, and they've got another pressure in the corner. No TP for Coffee. He's caught in the middle of the animation. Um, well, said he's got it all to do. Will be an A hit, and FPX are a little late to react to that, so they need a big performance on the site. Zipan is the one to take the first and the second. He's even going into the smoke. Sagetsu just about takes him down, but Xiao is waiting for him in the next, and he even gets a double. FPX, a massive cost. like a repeat of the last FPX attack round we saw, where they just ran into that full stack on B. Xiao able to get the first, the second, even going for more on the back side, but he stopped in his tracks, and the round is over. It is done as Forza take us to a... Dimisic to make his way onto the site. They have a flash ready to get him out of the smoke. And it looks like the flash has already been popped. Dimisic getting himself oh, a nice name it. right onto Coffee, who slips down below, but hold on. The rest of Forza aren't letting it go quite that easily. They've left. got the man advantage back and the plant in play. Post-plant utility non-existent. Hudgen has used it all on the way into the site. 
But they're going to have to fight for this map control and make it costly as FBX come back out to retake. Last pack not finding anything. The spray from Zipan is good to get you blinded on the backside. Heard on the left and Dimisic takes him quickly now. Time is a real problem for Forza. They have to buy more and they're getting nothing done. Artist, the final remaining player, will stop the defuse and then get shut down. Is there enough time? A much more of a risky purchase when it comes to overtime especially. And it is actually going to be the pace change. But again, Zeddy, that is the perfect gravity wall. He catches them as they push in. But the trades come back thick and fast. Artist, though, at the back of the site might just be here to take us to another OT, and he will. Three kills on the board, 40. That does not involve peaking, which means that the operator almost becomes useless. And Zeddy, he has to be the one to try and make the play, and the ops not quick enough on the trade. They're again running out of time. 25 seconds for them to make this move, Mitch. Attack side off on Viper. Not something you see every single day. There we go. Coffee coming out huge with an opening. Hudgen follows. And now it's a 2v3. Forza's attack seems to be set up pretty well. And with how the defense rounds have been going, we might just get another map out of this. The head was spotted by Shadow, but he didn't notice in time. He was already spamming the wall. What a shame. Backflash will catch him. But Hudgen is quick to respond. The blast back won't even matter. Operator. As we said, you know, the Viper op, not a common feature. That pull is so oh, nice! Oh, it's so I good. love it! I love it! Problem here. Oh, this time. Hawk taken out. The pop flash thrown in. It's going to be Zeddy to get the first. And actually, the spike has been dropped again. And even though they get the site early this time, the clock always seems to become an issue. Angel will deny the aggression of Saigetsu and leave it on to Coffee. And well, the trusty operator. I'm, I'm not sure how good that's going to be in this retake. Viper op retaking B? What do you mean? That's amazing. That's exactly what you want. Oh, look, it's easy. Yeah, Hudgens got this. Oh, he's dropped the op. He's lost. 1v3. Good luck. Player on the right, player on the left. As players just about everywhere. So close. <laughs> yeah. Right, close, but no cigar. Smoke fades, no one's spotted, and they're just going to wait, peek this together. Here we go. Nice bait by Hunch, and he knew what? exactly what was going on. He's in their heads, Tom. Only one remaining, oh. but Shao said Their opponents, again, is going to be stuck in the mud, but Shao, he just waits. Wow. He goes, okay, you know what? I'll sit in your gravity wall, and I'll find the kill anyway. And it was a great bait because they've got a second player, but we can't talk about that for now because coming out of Hookah Shao is flashed up and dealt with. He was the player that was on long earlier, so they might not know that Shadow's here as well, and he's ready for a fight. The Flash blinds himself, but hey, he gets out of there alive, and that's all that matters, keeping the advantage that FBX have fought hard for. Forza will retrieve the spike. He even get a plant down on the B site, more than likely. The retake is what we're worried about. I like this from FPX. Much more calm and collected. Uh, they're not going in for these individual jewels. They're not taking any risks when it comes to how patient they're being. And they're making sure their teammate will be there. The flash is through, but it's not good. Coffee's left completely blind. And with only one more piece remaining, they need a hero. And maybe that's Saigetsu. So he hits the headshot. The first player down. Dima Sick might be caught by this flash as well. The peak back in. He gets rid of Zipan. And now it's left all on to Dima Sick. A great opportunity for them to take the lead once again. Dimasik trying to bait them back in. We'll get one. But can he find the last man standing? Does it even matter at this stage? The spike ticking down. And he won't be able to close out the round. It is actually... one across the line. Oh, that's one hell of a start. Sipan already oh. gone. Shadow also tagged oh. ridiculously low. Is he actually going to go back? Oh, Wants to oh try and God. trade this out. He's so close to being dead. That bullet just might just have seem worth it. I might have knocked a button off his shirt. That was uh, that was pretty damn close. The first kill goes his way, and they even repeat. But artist is coming out on top in that fight. Hey, seventy-five HP trade one to one. That's kind of worthwhile. But forces still have the man advantage. It is a very spread out and slow round from FPX. They're not looking to make a, a textbook push onto a side. Instead, they're trying to evade detection and sneak up behind. That's exactly what Angel just did. He hasn't managed to spot Artist, though. Quick on his feet. He just evades. Well, he's in the position now. But that's worthwhile. Hunter's Fury there to play with. And he's going to back way off. But Angel knows this, right? He's seeing the Hunter's Fury come online. And he hunts him down. Another kill. Left for FBX as they look to stay alive and survive. 16 to 16 is the score. 
that they need to end up on. And well, as they back off, time is going to be a big issue for Forza. Getting back into this site with an operator, especially, it's going to be tough. Well, the universe doesn't like it when Mitch Man gets anything right. So him saying that this is a lock-in for fours has made it almost a lock-in for FPX. They're fighting against three players and the Mitch Man curse. We'll see if they can get anything done. The fake TP, the line of potential, but it's only going to be one. And of course, 16. The wall definitely going to give some information, trying to potentially separate the push. Zipan is completely blind and with his back to the majority of the punch, he still gets a kill. He should have been dead with absolutely nothing to his name. And well, that's exactly what Dima Sick is, as Artist has put him out of this round. That reveal isn't ideal for Shadow. He was kind of screwed in the corner. The flying from Angel is good, but it's being watched. They have way too many players alive at this stage. The Forza can cover all their bases. We're looking for that beautiful number 17. It looks like they might just find it. Time is so low here for Shadow. Isolating any duels be a big plus, but keep it rolling, lads. Uh I'm more than happy to go to a third map. Dean is sick. Oh, that's a nice shot. He's so low on HP, but somehow still surviving. Counter flashes are going to deny this aggression at least a little bit more. Now, are they going to clear the close angle? Now, they have got to have seen that. If they do not clear this man, I am leaving. Thankfully, this time they will. Coffee with a chance for a double spray down, but gets nothing other than the singular. Now it leaves just two players trying to rotate in on the flank. All the footsteps have been heard by Shadow. He's now in that corner. And Demon 6 says, you know what? Come on then. I got my bazooka <laughs> ready for you to face. It's left to this man once again. And a one versus four to close it. It would be huge, but unlikely. I want to see Forza take it all the way. The FPX probably don't share the same sentiment. The opening kill goes their way. And now Forza want to push into the B side. But will they? After being spotted and sold like that, it looks like they will. I think also the last man I want to be pushing right now is Xiao. It, he's you know, been a superstar in this map so far. Zipan also such a strong position that they can't really do anything out with him walled off and already. Oh, he's gonna oh. get a double there. It leaves Artist as the last man standing and Xiao is there to finish it off. One of the clean takes some damage. Shock darts raining down and they've avoided them. FPX delaying it a little bit and now getting it in. Okay, the Tiger is gonna catch it. Tag Zeddy oh. goes absolutely nuclear, taking a double kill and opening it, leaving Zipan alone in a one versus no four that he just doesn't win this. The spam, oh, it's close, but it's no cigar again. A spot that that is clear. And this could be a bit of a problem because they're now trying to make a play through mid. Never mind. An instant headshot on to Zipan, the trade on to Xiao, and Angel taking a lot of damage to try and hold on to Lamps. But he is still in charge of it as he comes oh, no. out spraying, ready for them to already be fighting. The flash is so good. He right clicks it and swings in. It's the one for one trade. And the flag for the double Timosic shuts them down. Zeddy's got it all to do yet again. Creeping up behind the shot to Timosic is good. And Shadow remains for now. Zeddy needs to win this one out. He now knows where Shadow is. But he wow, Timosic with nobody looking at him. That's going to be an easy couple of kills. Shadow now waiting, but again. Oh, it's ridiculous. Shadow is now gone. The aggression and Angel's got an operator. This is getting weirder by the second. Did they not expect FPX to play a default? Uh, wait, Hudgens still pushing? There's a flash there, and what? he's actually getting the kill and getting out. He has the spike. He's got to go back and plan. But that now puts them in a good position. Yeah, they've got a man disadvantage, but the operator is more than happy to bridge that gap and look for a little bit more. This is not an angle I want to be seeing Angel take. I think he actually might have done a little bit there. It doesn't seem to have connected too much. Nice shot coming out from Coffee though. Turns things into their favor. 3v2, but the whiff from Coffee could be enough. It's these two once again. This duo holding on to the lamps. Now they're actually going to stick this. Hagian's already got it to half. He's just going all the way. They're not expecting him to stick. He's just ninja defused in front of their faces. The Respect from Force! Destroyed instantly, and the drone has even spotted him. Zipan's stuck in the corner. He's being rushed down on. Great opening by Zeddy. 
Forza have just taken so much control so quickly. And FBX need a reaction right now. Flank is spotted, but at least gets a kill for it. And now that's pressure on the planter. You can't really just plant open. You've got to make a move. And Hutchin does exactly that. This guy's incredible on the Viper. And he keeps going. Oh, my. Two versus three. Oh, no. But then he's dropped. And an opportune oh! move. And a flash right on top of them. They could different anyways. So this kind of setup is definitely going to be profitable, or pot well, potentially going to be profitable. Hudgen shuts down Angel on the A side. This was the intended take. They want to push into A, at least that's what they're posturing. Dimasic fakes out a little bit of control now, starts to make noise on B to pull, rotates in, but no one's moving. They are staying in position as Zipang gets spotted. Orza are ready for this A play. The wall down, broken instantly. The plant will still be attempted, though, on an angle, but Hudgen goes right out, and that is a triple kill from Hudgen. It seems like normal stuff at this point, because it's happening so frequently, but another massive play to keep them out. Do they know that there's a snake in the grass? With 25 seconds left, Zipan could end this round in his tracks. The first goes his way, but Coffee so quick on the trade. But again, there's this flank. Demon Sick has caused them problems so many times. Angel is already going to drop another with the Operator and trying to be a little bit sneaky. He try and bait that timeout, and there goes Dima sick again. These flanks have been phenomenal, and he will. Hey, the funny thing is, he's he's been the most aggressive. <laughs> that one. Still a lot to do in this round. See, that probably gets FPX to full commit to this A play. They weren't already going to. Budget. Doesn't really have an angle here. Good shot by Artist, and he even sneaks out of the smoke to get a shot off. Finishing the wall down. Angel put oh, this. He's perfect. Just a Forza, placed. sorry. <gasps> Baffinance to just play all the way down. He's going back out, Tom. He's actually going to swing on this. He's gone all the way, oh. but Hudgens waiting. The operator battle one on the other side of it. The nade slows them slightly. It allows Dimasic to get inside the tube. He's ready for a fight, but so is Coffee. A nice headshot connected. Pulls us into a man advantage for Forza. Shao steps out to the site, and he spots a few. This is two quick kills, and the spike plant denied. Leaving Forza to pull back into this. They have to push onto the site. There's players in hookah. There's one on site. This is really, really tough to make work. I've additionally spotted Shawas Paranoia online. Doesn't even need to use it as it's all down to Sugatsu, who gets the first. Here's the step on site. He's trying to bait them into a fight, but they'll run the clock down. They'll play this on time. Oh, checking that. Fuji, I'm going to have to fall all the way back. The peek through from Coffee. Only going to get himself one, though. Angel quick enough on the trade. He's so aggressive with this operator, and he might just get punished for only 26 HP. The wall going down, trying to isolate some of these jewels, and just spamming off shots. It's artist to turn the tide again, and only oh. one man standing. Oh. It's all on to Xiao to try and bring this one home. It's not happening once more. No way. Positions from FPX getting punished. Our coffee. He's still going to be able to find the kill. Maybe try and get that extra push through. They haven't cleared the corner of Zipan, and the wall might keep him alive just a little bit longer. He's going to land the headshot what? anyway, but the trade eventually comes through. Keeping it even once again with two players going to try and fight back. But the shot from Shadow straight through the wall is going to put it back. Need to work with as well, and it's going to make its way towards the site. But the peak oh. artist is ready for it. The recon on its way. It's going to be broken by Shadow. Know that he's here, but they're giving up the control. They're allowing him to tap that spike before they go out for a peek. And Shadow is clearing all of these angles, but finding them completely empty as he moves into Hookah. Does he check the close left? And he does. But unfortunately, Match on map point. point. But it's not series point. Remember, they'll have to place. <laughs> the fact is, though, we know how resilient FPX are. And. It's a pretty decent one. Now, we've been seeing them throw that knife from afar, so it was almost an attempt to bait them into a rotation. Hagion's going to hit himself the shot. Oh, it's a bit of a whiff. What? Coffee's not going to get anything. The chance there, at least. Vulnerability onto Shadow, but they're getting ready to try and pop out onto this site. They need the Viper to go huge again. They need artists to land something. And actually, they're going to teleport through. But Zeddy's waiting. He didn't leave the site. He's been staying there patiently, looking to try and stun them up as they walk through. Already going to find himself one the second oh. and all three. He's walking away with two or three kills, guaranteed. Playing it with a ghost as they walk by. They don't clear oh. it, but Artist eventually swings and spots him. That's the... Oh. 
How? How has he done that? Right click them through a smoke and a third has gone his way. He's just tearing them apart. My God, up above, Xiao is doing damage. Already three kills here in the pistol round and fours have a man disadvantage just because of him. Artist, I think, has been spotted up close and zip and right clicks him to death. Why would you ever buy a ghost when this weapon's on the market? Xiao tagging up Zeddy makes it so much sometime soon. And the nades exchanged. Look where Angel is. He's getting right up in their face on the edge of the smoke. The shadow picks them off. Here comes Angel through the smoke, but he gets nobody. He was behind them. Damage done, but it's not enough. Forza, man advantage. Coffee getting healed back up, and the plant is in. This is a disaster. Yeah, fortunately, the two players surviving the Xiao and Zip had. So if anybody was going to be able to bring this home, this is the duo that you would want in this scenario, clearing some of those closer angles, using the snake bite to find a little bit of space, and they know there's no wraparound. This this actually gives them far more information than it takes away on the other side. One will go their way, but Zipan can't quite capitalize. He has, however, done a hell of a lot of damage. He baits with the shot! ...that are very close to coming into play. They're almost leaving... So that's the site down, easy plan, as easy left. as can be. The question is, does Sugetsu get caught? Because there's been a sneak through by Shao. He is ready for this, he's heard him, and Sugetsu even oh. gets the kill. That is a free upgrade on the one weak weapon that they actually had on the Forza side. I mean, this is about as good as it can go, but Zipan running on the site all alone. And this is starting to look like a... Being able to run through. This has kept three players on the other side, but the man here is Zipan. He gets nothing. Zeddy isolates the battle, and now the TP has to come through. It's Angel to try and hold on to this site. He's going to get all to the push into the back. The milliscule of that ultimate catches him. There's one on the other side, but they don't see Zeddy. He's in the back lines, and now the Aftershock will hold them back for a second. He's gonna get killed by it as well. It's absolute chaos in this one, but it's left on to Xiao all on his own. And Fools are gonna take another one. They counted. If the ult economy is evenly traded, Forza end up in a better position. Incredible on every single one. Gonna be left to try and defend the res. Zip and uh, set it. They're just gonna fall back down the res. Oh, for it in more of a conventional split. Um, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, if Artist is playing heaven here. <gasps> Uh, that what? was not a collat. That was Angel and Shadow at the same time peeking and taking them down. Now they've spotted Angel on back sight. He's still alive and doing damage. Ten With 10 seconds left, all they have to do is delay. Cost them time and the artist has made it away. He's tucked in the corner. Sheriff on sight. Shadow not getting it. Reloading and not being pushed down. Hudson just ready on the angle and he loses. By Forza and that rocket oh. almost kills Angel, leaving him on 9 HP. He can't even think about dropping down. He can't go anywhere because he's stunned up. So beautiful fault line. Oh, wow. Forza have overrun at least heaven oh, and mid. Insane. But there, they know they know the shadow's down below now, right? He just broke some utility. So that that's him in trouble. Dimasix being spotted and naded up as well. Forza have got so much info to play with here. They've got all the angles and a, a huge individual play needs to be made for this one to work out. I mean... Well, there's none to be seen. Yeah, I think his Astra has been one of the best I've seen in a long time. <sighs> You're willing to give us a kill? We'll give you mid. 30 seconds left. It's a fair trade. But now they get a little greedy. <laughs> a little more and a pixel angle on the coffee. Rolling thunder into main. And, well, that is that is a nice little response by FBX. Yeah, really good round. The second they get the opener, it just looks like things start to fall further into their favor and Ten seconds remaining left. two players probably just going to hold on to what they've got still got full shields as well so. it's like a game of mousetrap <laughs> blast backs in and they go nope sit down for a minute get slowed get killed face on the site looking to be garnered he's managed to hold and actually angel's gone into the back corner now he might have been spotted but the likelihood is they're not going to clear angel properly and it doesn't even matter even though they see him eventually is zipan who ends up getting the kills from above it's left and that's on the back of this fours are starting to move they're starting to look elsewhere and it's towards mid and vents that they want to take it Xiao shuts down coffee that's going to be no showstopper to play with or so you would think but there's the res we talked about earlier on punching down and out operator removed from play and these players are now trapped in vent 
Getting out of here is going to be really, really it's tough. Screwed. Moving towards the site. They've got to just go for duels right here and now. And maybe they're not screwed. Showstoppers online, Tom. Here it comes. Rushing towards the site. Oh, my God. The airtime on that for Coffee. He's in the back site before he's taken down. And it's all on to Dimisic to try and slow it. But he won't get it done in time. Plant comes into play. And a 2v2 reads. The best of plants for this. They're almost going to have to try and cut them on the cross, and that's exactly what they do. Zipan, the only one standing, and Zeddy. They've got a flash prime, the nade in, and so much damage done. Hudgen onto Angel starts it off. Things slow down, a flash return. Some sort of entry, the cam actually not destroyed. Gives that little bit of information. And Saigetsu is already going to catch off Zipan. The spike has still managed to make it to the side, and he jumps through onto Shadow as well. Loses a teammate, but they're not going to mind. A four versus two situation. Both players locked into the site. Demisic knows it. He needs to find a battle, and he will get one. That was the low HP Sugetsu. There's a couple more players, though, on the way. Coffee hit down to 12. And have a tough time doing much. The right click classic should never be underestimated, though. That wall coming down as we speak. It leaves Coffee and Hudgen in the open. Beautiful stuff. Zeddy with it all to do. 1v2. Up close left. He's got one, but he can't find any of the shots. Oh, it's painful. But it won't be happening for four. Definitely a tough task ahead. That's an off angle by Zeddy. You don't see it held all too often. And it catches them completely by surprise. Angel left on 30 HP. Artist is caught in the corner. They know that he's here. They're waiting for that smoke to fade, and it's about to. That's where Artist is going to be in a little bit of trouble. He could play for his teammate to watch the cross. Instead, he peeks. And that hasn't exactly gone according to plan. Evened up numbers now. Three versus three. But Coffee again, is going to be down to just two health. And then, oh, that what? was not the peak that they wanted from it. Xiao thought he could catch them off guard. And instead, he has been dropped. Angel's position revealed, and they know exactly where Zipan is. But they was. He's got this first duel. Oh, I, I could see him swinging left, but now he's dead. If he actually took that fight. And look at Angel. He's just going wandering. A little bit of a walkabout. See you later, Shadow. That's a gun into the hands of the opposition. And if there's any ability for Saigetsu to delay... Well, they'd love to see it. He's going to peek back into the slow more. There's no escape from Angel at that point. Afterplant ensues, and the likelihood of a victory here slim. But we'll see if they can make it costly. Well, they're certainly approaching it the right way, sticking together, using their numbers to their advantage, pushing all the way into spawn. And that's where they found Shout. Now the target has been acquired. They know. Okay. Oh! No. Hey, they still get him. Hey, it's something. They knew there was a guy isolated, so they decided to just hunt him down together. And look at that. The wall's going to be used down on ramp. Is that to allow Zeddy to go pick up a rifle? No. Because he doesn't go anywhere near spawn. In fact, they're both moving into heaven. What? What, Zeddy? Two kills and a third for Artist. I mean, that has ended up pretty damn well. Like a Viper and a Breach over a couple of maps. That's what it's going to work out for him. Angel going to be caught again falling for the second time in this round and the remaining players looking to try and wrap through heaven the flash is so perfect it leaves him blind caught in a nade and then even shot in the head 30 seconds left oh the barrel might just be spotted it was and there you go shout Taking him down, looking for a little bit more, knowing full well that Raze is close, but here comes the showstopper, and it's right on target. Shao down, damage done to Zipan. Getting to sight's gonna be next to impossible. It's an operator waiting there, and he actually catches him off guard. The race to the site to try and get the plant, no time anymore, but it's all about damage. Zipan is trying to kill as many as he possibly can. That they've just got all of this utility ready and waiting. And as said, like, Fours are just doing an excellent job of just delaying FPX as much as humanly possible. Angel's success in these duels has been minimal over the last few rounds. I almost want to see them go for more of an early commit, try and go for a proper execution because they're being picked apart. Oh, that nade just further <laughs> emphasizes what you're saying, Tom. Coffee taking Shadow and the nade onto Zipan. Puts it into a one versus five yet again. Michelle this time stepping up to the plate to try and make this work. 
Nice shot. Uh, have got a showstopper to play with. They have practically every ult minus the rolling thunder, but so do FPX. This is where they need to put everything on the table. Four consecutive rounds for Fun Plus Phoenix, or we will see them knocked out with no chance of making it to Berlin. Yeah, and, and also, again, it has to be put into perspective that I, they're not exactly safe, especially if fours continue. Ashes are good, though. The counter utility trying to be thrown out to deny them, but for now, whoa, Control will be helping again. Angel with the face will Welcome lose that opening battle. World. At least it's traded back. Zipan's just one away from getting that res, so this is not lost just yet, but it's Forza that scare me. The fact that these guys have so much to play with, and I'm looking at Sugetsu, possibly one of the most impactful ultimates right now, and I'm not even joking. If they get the information, the Showstopper could be huge. It's used anyways to take down Shadow, but then Xiao on the backside manages to deal with them. In comes the Cosmic Divide. Zipan continues to push forward in through the wall, but he's taken down as well. Xiao has to hold on for dear life. The time is low, but they might just have it.